Hello, I'm Graham Morris. I took the male, female, or yes please, a dialogue on gender, and it was actually completely interesting to me. I uh, didn't expect how such an awkward subject could be uh, so in intriguing, but um, today um, what we talked about, it was kind of awkward at first because we just... We did a few icebreakers. We did the whole yarn thing and the uh, just talked about where we're from, our background, what we did. And then they started off by talking about the uh, right handed and left handed people. And basically, what the conclusion was right, the world is made for right handed people. And what happened, that we made a little T chart. And then what happened was she erased the uh, right and left. And said what other two topics would fit there and it got down to the point of there's such things as age race gender sex which i thought were the same but i later learned that they weren't um they were the same and just stuff like that that separates that basically makes social classes and stuff like that and um we talked about that for a while and did a few other activities which kind of explained to us the way people think if they are n different than us and why they think that way. Um, quite interesting. Um, the first question, do you feel your group achieved true dialogue? Why or why not? I do. Um, our group was very active in conversation. We had a pretty diverse group. We had people from all social backgrounds, all ethnic backgrounds our religious backgrounds. It was pretty wide open to say the least. Um, dialogue, nobody really argued. It was more contribute on top of contributing. Um, it was quite an interesting discussion actually. Um, active voices, yes, a lot of active voices. Um, more than reserved voices actually. Our One of our group leaders is actually very um, she fit in like she is pansexual and um, she's agnostic which isn't weird or ab I mean it's abnormal it's not weird nothing to shun upon but um, she was a very active voice because it's coming from her viewpoint most of the time it's you know just being in America it's probably gonna be a white person Christian you know and so that um, Reserve voices, I mean, there's always the one or two people that are shy, but um, what role did I play? Personally, I think I was a listener. I contributed a good bit, but I absorbed more information than I think anybody else did because I had no idea what was going on at first, and then I just listened because I like hearing people's stories and stuff like that. Um, dialogue. Dialogue is important because instead of where debating is, you got to muscle the other person out of the argument and you got to be a winner on a winner. Um, dialogue is just people contributing. It's, I feel as though dialogue is where stuff gets the most done, most gets accomplished. Um, a discussion is there's a little bit of a rub a little bit of tension there um you still want to try to muscle the guy out just a little bit but in dialogue i like dialogues the best because everybody's just chill you know sitting around um dialogue is i was really impressed with how well our dialogue went today um i learned a lot um i didn't realize how many um, transgender I think it was we learned a bunch of big words that I really didn't even know how to pronounce but now I do um, like androgyny um, I learned that sex is different from gender actually I didn't I really had no idea until today what that meant um, I learned like transsexuals like why they are the way they are and just stuff like that it was really enlightening to me um, I was kind of dreading going to it but after I left you know I felt accomplished it was pretty sweet um, I wouldn't mind doing one again but it was 
pretty awesome. Um, yeah, that's my vlog. It will be on YouTube for the whole world to watch. So, stay in tune.